Hello and welcome to the Excel VBA object series. In this video, we will navigate the object browser and learn how to use it. We will also see how to use the automatic list while coding. These are here in the VBA editor under edit, list properties, list constants, quick info, parameter, or in the edit toolbar if added, right here. We're going to see all of that, but before we dive into it, I'd like to clarify the difference between object and class, as this term will come up several times when moving to the object browser. We have talked about objects all the way through this series, so you should already be familiar with the concept. An object is something we can touch, so to speak. In this case, it's something we can see and we can work with. Examples of Excel objects are a workbook, a worksheet, a range, a shape, etc. So, an object is an instance of a class, and the class holds the instructions for the object to operate. Excel comes with libraries of classes that set the basis to work with objects. These libraries are part of the available references we can access through the References dialog box under Tools, References, here in the VBA editor. By default, we see the Microsoft Excel object library, which contains classes for the workbook object, the worksheet, and all the other Excel objects. We also have the VBA library, with all the instructions to code with VBA, basically. And there are many other libraries. Here we see the Microsoft Office object library, and this one has classes for other Office objects. And down here, we have all the other Microsoft libraries for each of the applications and other components. Okay, so all the classes or objects and the respective members for a given library can be found in the Excel object browser. We can access the object browser under view in the Visual Basic Editor or pressing F2. There is also a quick access button in the standard toolbar. At the top of the object browser, we can select a particular library among those added to the references. So we have Excel, Office, VBA, and the current VBA project. Let's select Excel. Then we can search a term in that library. The term can be an object or collection, a property, a method, an event. Let's try, for example, application. And then we see where that term appears to which class it belongs or member. Um, as you see, there are many results here for application because application is, is quite popular. And down here, application has been selected under classes. And then on the right, we have the members of the application. And these are properties, methods, or events. So for example, we have the active cell, which is a property of the application object. And down here, we have some more information about the property. It says it's a property as a range. So, um, so this property returns a range object. As we discussed in a previous video, properties can return an object. We also have the active chart, which returns a chart object. If we go down here, we see the calculation property. And down here is described as Excel calculation. If we click that, that's the Excel calculation enumeration, and these are the three types of, and they are actually constants, and we can see down here the value for each of the constants. We also have methods here. For example, we have here convert formula, and as you see, it, it's described down here as a function. So methods show as a function or a SAP here in the object browser, and it gives additional information about the method, and so all the parameters that are required, the formula here in this case, the from reference style, and it describes as a Excel reference style, and we can also see what are the constants or the options for that, and so on and so forth. And we also have here events. So for example, uh, if we look at the sheet events at the application level, we can see here we have the sheet activate event, and the sheet change event, and again, down here, it gives some information, it tells it's an event, and it tells what parameters it accepts. And this is what we also see when adding the event procedure. So if we go down here, we see the 
workbooks or worksheets are properties of the application and again as we have discussed earlier the property of an object can return another object in this case it says property workbooks as a workbooks object or collection so if we click here on workbooks it shows now the members of the workbooks collection and uh, we have for example the add method or the count property and for example if we look at the open method uh, it gives here all the information about the parameters that are required um, the file name the link read only format password and so on and it says is a workbook object so if we click on the workbook object then we go to workbook which is different than workbooks as you see and um, we see all the members for the workbook object and again we have properties we have methods and we have events here let's see another example instead of writing an object let's write for example a property let's say we want to search for visible uh, visible is a property of several objects so when we enter that term it shows all the places where visible appears and the one we might be interested more likely is as a property of one of the objects for example you see is a property of the application or the chart objects it's often used with sheets or or worksheets so i'm gonna look at the visible property of the worksheet object so then i have to select this line which highlights the object or class here the worksheet and then it highlights on the right hand side the property and then we can have more information down here and it is defined as an excel sheet visibility and if we click that the enumeration for excel sheet visibility shows these three constants or options for the visibility of a worksheet which is um, visible hidden and very hidden and down here we have also the um, the value for each constant the value is useful sometimes if we want to check for example what's the visibility status of a worksheet using the type property it will return a number not the the constant so it will return minus one two or zero and then we can interpret to the term and we can search terms in other libraries so for example if i select the office library here usually we have um, different MSO enumerations, so Microsoft Office enumerations. And for example, um, if, if we look for shape, we can see we will have the shape type enumeration here. It's highlighted down here. And here on the right, we have all the different types of uh, shapes. Then we have the VVA library, which mostly has VVA functions, so here we have all the financial functions as you see, all the conversion functions, daytime functions, and so on. And it also has some enumeration here, for example, for the message box result um, with the term also and the, the value down here. And finally, we have the current VVA project. And as we don't have anything in the project, it doesn't show, it just shows the sheet and the workbook. We can also get the list of members directly on the module window using some of the edit options in the VVA editor. These are here under edit, as you see, list properties, methods, list constants, quick info and parameter info. And they are also visible in the toolbar if the edit toolbar has been added. These also pop up automatically while coding for a qualified reference. So if I write application, and add a dot, it, it automatically shows the list of members of the application object. And this is exactly the same information we've seen in the object browser. So if we write here active workbook, then it shows the list of properties and methods for the active workbook. We can also get this using the button list properties and methods. So let's see another example. If we look at the cursor property of the application object when we add the equal then we get the list of constants available for the cursor property then we have the quick info here and this is quite useful sometimes if we just write application it's only going to tell us application as an application object but the, but if we add cursor again and we use the quick info 
is going to tell us is a member of the Excel mouse pointer enumeration list, which has all these four constants that we've seen before. The quick info is also useful when declaring our own objects. So for example, if I go here and declare uh, WS as a worksheet, we can always get the quick info about this object later in the macro if we if we don't know or we don't remember what was that object um, all about. And then of course we can use any properties or methods on that object and they will show up in the same way because that's a qualified reference. It's important to have a qualified reference to get the list of properties and methods or, or quick info. So for example, if I write borders and add a dot, we don't get any list because it's not qualified. We need to have a qualified reference, in this case a range, which is a qualified object and can be used without any previous reference. And then we write borders. Now we get the list of properties for the borders for that range. The quick info is also helpful when using other variables, when using many variables. So for example, I will add another variable, confirm as a Boolean, and imagine we have many variables, and then when we use them, we can always get a quick info wherever they have been declared previously and quickly see what kind of variable is that. When using a method for, for an object, the quick info usually shows the list of parameters. So, and otherwise we can also get the list of parameters from this button here. So for example, if we look at the application get open file name method, after we enter a space, we get the list of parameters. And this is shown when clicking the quick info or list of parameters here too. And we've been talking how coding with methods work in a previous video. And if we look at this other example, open, then we also get here the list of parameters for open links, the name, the read only, and the type. And we're going to see much more about all that for each specific object in the next videos. So this was an overview of the Excel VBA object browser and automatic list. I hope you found it informative and thanks for watching.